Hello, everybody. I'm Sarah one here in today's video. On this video, we're going to talk about some Dragon Ball Z's Kakarot news. Um, so, with DLC 5 coming, obviously, we're do it. We're doing, um, from what looks like the 23rd uh, or martial arts tournament, so this is going to be kind of a Dragon Ball storyline. Um, I wonder if they're going to do other things within that, so to speak. Like, if we're going to get, like, a few, like, little kid Goku-type stories and stuff in there or anything. Um, but from what I understand, DLC 5 isn't going to be a pretty, isn't going to be a pretty long, uh, DLC because, um, it's just pretty much the tournament and then that's pretty much all, like, so... But, you know, a lot of people are talking about, you know, uh, DLC 6, which a lot of people are speculating it could be cooler, it could be Broly. Um, I honestly would like to see either one of those actually come into, into this game. Um, but if they're going to do this, with if they, do, if, if they decide to do cooler, they need to do both stories, because there's actually two movies, and not just do... Meta Cooler and then skip the Revenge of Cooler. They really need to try to adapt both stories in there to make to, to me to be like a full video. Um, um, that's what I feel like they should do with the Cooler Side uh, DLC six. Um, now with the Broly on your hand. I think they should do four stories with Broly. You have your original Dragon Ball Z's Legend of Broly storyline, then you have the uh, Broly Second Coming. Obviously, you have that Bio Broly one, and then you also have the Dragon Ball Super Broly. And the reason why is because you already kind of have Super Saiyan Blue, Goku, and Vegeta already. You might as well kind of throw in the Dragon Ball Super Broly storyline in there as well. That's always why I say I said four. Um, but with DLC six, you know, being announced, you know, we're not too sure what that's what it is going to be this yet. But because at this point, we're all just kind of speculating and what we would like to see and would be kind of nice uh, story for that. Um, obviously, um, this is pretty exciting for Dragon Ball Z's character news right now. You know, getting or story and content and things, you know, trying to get this game finished up, which it needs, there's, there's, there's a lot of stuff and stories that they can do with Kakarot that really needs to have that finishing tone. Um, um, cause there's actually supposed to be stuff where they're going to do like tournaments and stuff now. So we're going to have like, fight tournaments now, so I wonder if, like, when I do the tournaments and stuff for Dragon Ball Z, for the Kakarot game, I wonder if they're going to have, like, a two-player option, so to speak, of that, so that one person can play with one character, you know, you know and, um, I wonder how they're going to, wonder how they're going to, how they're going to do that, um, Because to me, I feel like uh, for next DLCs and stuff, we should be getting, we should be getting, you know, other storylines and stuff like that. Because I kind of want to see a storyline of, um, hmm. it's a lot to think in here. Um... I know another DLC storyline I've seen some people want would be like a Super Janemba storyline. But thing with the only thing with Super Janemba is like it it just be one villain character. But you know there are some other things you could do with that situation, like while Goku and Vegeta are fighting uh, Janemba, because or. Remember right? Um, 
in the Dragon Ball Z's uh, movie, The Future Reborn, a lot of the characters came back from the dead after this, after the incident. So, like, you could also interact with characters like Gohan and Videl fighting, where Gohan punch, one shot punches Frieza, do an interaction with that. You could do interaction with Goten and Trunks, you know, interacting with Hitler's character on the freaking thing, the little kind of fun. Um, I think. I think what they should do with a Future Reborn kind of storyline, because PyCon is also part of the story too, I think they should do the Other World Tournament and kind of tackle that alongside with Future Reborn. That way you're get, you're introducing a character that way. But um, I feel like there's a lot of stories that they should that there are really interesting they could add here at Kakarot. It's just what all are we putting here? Like, um, I think f as far as DLC stories, I'm looking forward to seeing. I want to see something with coolers, the cooler ones, uh, Broly. Uh, Android 13, I think, would be an interesting one to do. Because if you did Android 13, I think Android 21 would be an interesting character to adapt a lot of that into. Um, because I feel like Inner 21 should be a villain character for this Kakarot game, that, but we haven't quite seen that. But there's a lot of Easter eggs and point outs there that kind of like, you know, make it kind of curious. Okay, is she going to be a story character at some point? You know? Um, there's a lot. There's, there's, there's a lot here unfold. Um, tell me what you guys think of Kakarot and stuff for DLC 5 and 6 and stuff. What DLC stories are you, are you thinking that DLC 6 could be? You think it could be Broly, Cooler, um, a uh, different story that, I uh, be, that'll kind of work. Um, honestly, I'm really looking for, hope, I'm really looking forward to, uh, Cooler and Broly for sure. Uh, I think it'd be kind of neat, though, if they did do, you know, something with, the, like, the Super Ones, do something with Goku Black's character or something. I think that'd be kind of neat. But, um, I guess we'll see what happens for DLC 6, since, uh, 5 is pretty much about here, which is the 23rd World Martial Arts Tournament that took place on Dragon Ball. Um... I think that'll be about it, guys. Uh, post the comment section below if you like the like button. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit share button as always. And I'll see you on the next video. And goodbye.